Good. Yeah, anyway, what happened was I went into a pothole and then landed on my head, oh, had a concussion apparently, but then was still like conscious for it and walked up. Was the dragon the okay? The dragon was actually okay, yeah. All right, everybody, very welcome back to the Beardfire Music Podcast. This week's guest is Elsha. Hello. Welcome, <laughs> Elsha. How's it going? Hello. Thanks for having me, guys. Oh, you're very, very, very welcome. Um, it's something we've uh, wanted to have you on for a while. I know. That was I... a sentence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I kept cancelling on you. Uh, there was a lot yeah, going on. Yeah, it was very on. disappointing. Yeah, I'm very sorry. I got bitten by a spider. You got bit by a spider. You played Electric <laughs> Picnic. You rode a dragon. Well, yeah, in a way. Those all kind of yeah. sound like excuses, but <laughs> yeah, they all really yeah. happened. I would have turned up and I rode a dragon and got bit by a spider. <laughs> when I was 10. <laughs> was it when you were 10? I was, I was 10, yeah. It wasn't a recent event. Well, we really? might as well start there. Yeah, Yeah, I this is the big, this is your the origin beginning. story. My origin story. Where it all went wrong. <laughs> Did you, was the hair pink before this? No. No. So this is where it all started. Okay, okay. And so give us the background it, to this yeah. dragon riding story. So... My family had a holiday home in Dingle in County Kerry Lovely. when I was growing up. And I used to go cycling around the parish. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, I was going like really fast down a hill on the way back home from the cycle. And I decided to close my eyes and imagine that I was on a dragon. Right. Because I was 10. Even though I think maybe 10 is a bit old to do that. I don't know. No, anyway. it's never too old to imagine you're right. <laughs> they made a whole band about imagining dragons. <laughs> yeah, I was trying true. to get some dumb joke in there about that band. Um, but yeah, anyway, what happened was I went into a pothole and then landed on my head. Oh, had a concussion apparently, but then was still like conscious for it and walked up. Was the dragon the okay? The dragon was actually okay. Yeah. yeah That's the important The, the part. dragon was a lovely purple bike. All um, right. That was totally fine, but the helmet had a massive crack on it, so... Wow. That did its job, I guess. It did yeah, its job. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you go to hospital? I did go to hospital. Good. Yeah. Good. That's <laughs> where, did you hit your head? That's where the aminals are. I did fall off my skateboard today. <laughs> That's right, you did. I actually did, but I didn't oh hit my, my head. I was God. all right. Hey, I, I forgot. I, why not? Wow. You went, we what? <laughs> what did you do? Huh? I think we've all hit our heads recently. Um, yeah. I won a skateboard race the other day. What? The other night. I was coming With back who? home. That is some random guy. We he was uh, we were both skating on the same bike track, and we stopped at the lights. And he was like, "Hey, we should race." And I was like, "Yeah, yeah." That's so yeah, nice. do you know what happened to me last night? What I was going down a hill near. Um... Sorry, we'll be back to El shit in a minute. <laughs> this is I was, great. I was going down. A, I was going down a hill near uh, on the canal, and I went down the bike path rather mm. than the other side. And a dude on a Deliveroo bike, like an electric bike with a speedometer, um, pulled up next to me, and he was like. 30 kilometers, bro, you know, and they kept going. I was like, and I was like, just trying not to die on this thing, you know. So we both had speedy skateboard yeah. experiences and um, you rode a dragon. Yeah, I rode a dragon. And it was a purple dragon. It was purple. So is this, yeah. so have you always had a fascination with, because there is quite a clearly a theme here that is developing. Um, when did you become? Pink. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, when did you become pink? I became pink in 2021, uh, mid only... second lockdown. And so something do it. good came yeah. of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's yeah. it. Because I had like, I'm naturally blonde. And then like, I had like the peroxide blonde thing going for a while. Mm. And then at the start of the second lockdown, I was like, I'm going to do something really alternative. And I'm going to put mm -hmm. like this lilac tinge in my hair. Like it was rotten. It was awful. And because I wear extensions, it was like totally mismatched colors. Okay, okay. And I think I just tried to like fix that and ended up just going like totally pink. Yeah. Um, and it just stayed. But it works. It's so cool. You know? I mean, like, as you know, I think, you know, especially in the, the, the age we're living in with regard to social media and all that kind of stuff, um, you know, the visual aspect of an artist's uh, thing mm -hmm. is so important as well. And it's so cool to have like such a defined, um, you know, image and look that, that matches the kind of the, the music that you're doing. And I, I just mm -hmm. think it's fantastic. So uh, long may it last. But, you know, whatever. Do, <laughs> we'll you, see. you do you. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, my hair is very damaged at this stage. Like, yes, it's barely there. Little, but... like, it's barely there. There's <laughs> short bits that should not it. be there at all. Um, but look, yeah, it, it makes life a bit easier because like I'd actually be quite introverted most of the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's nice to have that as an icebreaker. Yeah, you know what I mean? it's very cool. Because like people just be like, oh, your hair's cool. Or 
the best is with little kids. They mm. think that I'm a princess, you know, and that's like... Who doesn't want to be a princess? I kick off, like, every day when that doesn't happen. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Like, you get home. I, I go home and I cry. To, like, I talk to your spider. <laughs> like... I talk to the spiders <laughs> in my house. Didn't happen to them. <laughs> so the reason why we're talking about the spiders, so you live you live with some spiders? Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, I had an idea that I was cohabiting with spiders, mm. but I didn't realise that there were false widows upon the okay. premises. Um, mm. And I got bitten by one a few days ago yep. in my sleep. Have you started exhibiting any sort of no. spider-themed superpowers? No, no. I actually thought for a minute there, did anything really cool happen to me in the last oh, few Oh, maybe you'll try to but, like, like put the mic down and it'll be stuck to your hand. Oh, my God. Imagine. <gasps> Don't drop the mic. <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing like that has happened. Um, but, yeah. Pain? Pain associated? Pain. Yeah, I was a bit mm. nauseous on the day because mm-hmm. um, apparently you can get really sick with right, okay. those bites. And it's it's for the people. Maybe maybe the editor can um, get up some really disgusting pictures of spider bites <laughs> and and plaster them across the screen. But you you were posting photos, um, and yeah, it was like mm. a big uh, it was like a big bubbly blister, wasn't it? It yeah. So it started off just as a ring, and I woke up thinking it was hilarious that I had gotten ringworm in the night. Like, and is I was ringworm like, How associated that? with um, the gut? I don't know too much about it. I know that it's fungal, I think. No, I'm, it's a freaking worm. But, yeah, but it's, it's a, a parasite, a isn't it? It's a fungal worm. It's a fungal worm. I love that band. <laughs> yeah, that deathcore band. Worm. Yeah. Worm. I can see their logo now. I can't see their logo. It's so distorted. Um, yeah, I had worms once in the Netherlands oh when I was gosh. about five. It was bad, man. You take a pill and they go away, but um, I can I can't imagine that. Like, you look down and <laughs> what were they like? They were. It was like they were having a great time, but I wasn't. <laughs> they were happy as happy were, as were anything. Were they actually like worms? They were freaking worms. How in big your, were they? They were large enough. Were they oh. sinking cities with a giant worm? No. They're sinking a, cities uh, with a giant worm. Two reference. <laughs> there, nice. Classic everyone, contemporary um, reference. Everyone getting those jokes out home. there. Uh, <laughs> It's funny because, like, I only remember I remember I remember actually a lot from being five because it was quite an interesting period of time. But um, with the worms and all, but the worms really stayed with me. And well, I, no, I like they're, they're gone now. They're gone now. But uh, you raised them like children. I raised them like my own. <laughs> Got them in a little lunchbox in the kitchen. I feed them. Uh, no, I don't. Um, no, but mentally they stayed with me. Because I think the thing that freaked me out the most was like, okay, these are the ones that are outside me. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I, and I, I'll let everyone I else finish that sentence in their mind. God, I'd say it felt so nice to like clear all of them out. <laughs> 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 like, I can imagine the, like, outstanding relief of the <laughs> situation. I mean, that, that bodily function is usually associated with a certain degree of relief, but yes, mm. when you expel living creatures that you can see, it also helps. Right, mm. what are we talking about? I don't know. Oh, the spider bite. Oh, yeah, that's how we so got onto spiders. this. Yeah, so I rang the doctor because it was blistering and she was like, yeah, that's definitely a spider bite. It's wow. a false widow going antibiotics. Um it was just the fact that it happened in my bed, like I know that's the thing that's like really the violation. one place spiders are supposed to respect. I know, <laughs> I know, and so I had to go and like buy like peppermint oil and lavender. I saw that you had a load of like witchcraft. Was this a real, was this a real <laughs> doctor that you went to, yeah. Yeah. or just some like <laughs> well, no, lady see, down the street? The doctor was like, "Yeah, just spray the place with half water, half vinegar," and I was like. Well, but now like, it's going to smell like smell fish and very chips. nice. Yeah. So then everyone else was like, no, peppermint oil, get peppermint oil. So my gaff smells amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You Except know? unless you're a spider. Unless you're a spider. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's things like other tips were like, rub a lemon across the skirting boards and stuff. So I did a bit of that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's been a mad week. <laughs> and how is your TikTok not blowing up? <laughs> well, I think <laughs> I need to like do like more this. about need, the spider sh- situation. If, if, if yeah. you showed the lemon rubbing on TikTok, you would have got a trillion views. Mm. Do you know, I'll go home and I'll do just that. Do just do like Tips to get rid of spiders. Yeah. Lemon. And Lemon s- drizzle. Salt. And salt. Yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, hopefully mm. um, that's it for the uh, the spider <laughs> problems. Um, 
We will. Your dad's also the head of music in Romania, right? <laughs> <laughs> Your dad's also a spider. <laughs> he's also a spider. That's his superpower. Um, so. So what does that even mean? He's, he's a commander of music in Romania. So does, uh, now listen. Uh, yeah. Your dad plays music, obviously. Yeah, he's a, he's musician, a composer. He's a composer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. Um, he did. For those at home. Yeah, for those at home who don't know, um, he. When I was like a teenager, he used to go back and forth from Romania doing this project mm. in Sibiu. And Bless you. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't. Sorry to all the Romanians. I presume that's a place. I'm very uneducated. On. <laughs> and I don't is know. Is it a town? That's yeah, a city of it's, Romania. It's okay. a, oh God, I don't even really remember. It, it is a town like close to some other big place. Mm-hmm but I don't remember the names. Okay. I went there once when I was 16. Okay. Um, and I was just so like, we were followed around by this paparazzi man um, at a historic kind of tower place. And he kept trying to give my dad a tent, a pop-up tent as a gift. Okay. Um, and we couldn't take it because we had to go on the plane after that trip. It was all just very weird. But anyway, like a few months later in the mansion house in Dublin, mm-hmm. he was made... A commander of music. In How many Romania, commanders of music are I don't know. there? Because I, I thought he if was. If there's like four hundred, I'm like, <laughs> so if there's two. It's pretty impressive. But if there's if there's under ten commanders of music in Romania, I'll be very impressed. I mean, I I don't know. I was like spreading false news, saying that like he was the commander of music in Romania. Because I keep it. I just didn't. Yeah, I, mean, I was young and didn't. I mean, remember. who's gonna like, tell you the other three hundred commanders of music? I know. Like, I know. I think we need to go and research this and find out, like, as a family, like. But yeah, it's a that's a weird. And is he composing weird. at the moment? Like, is what is yeah. he active in, in yeah. music? Yeah. Is he commanding at the music. Moment. He's mm-hmm. commanding music. Nice. That's great. Always since 1940. No, when he was born, it's coming up to his 75th. Really? Yeah. Well, he's been yeah. around a while, hasn't he? Yeah, he has. He's a, probably he's a good guy. Probably <laughs> remembers the invention of music. <laughs> I remember when they invented the music. Yeah. Little boy rubbed two sticks together, made a sound. And boy, did it sound good. Anyway, um, yeah, no, that's that's fantastic. So obviously, you know, you, you're from a musical family. You grew up surrounded by music. How did you, how did your musical journey start? How did it come to fruition? And where do you find yourself now? Um, so it took me a while to get into what I do now, which is the video game composing thing. So yeah. like growing up, obviously I was surrounded by music, like my whole family are musicians in some form. And I think I I just didn't want to end up working in music when I was younger because mm. I thought it just seemed really hard, yeah. you know, and really scary. And like, you're putting a piece of your soul yeah. out there all the time. Yeah, it and it's yeah, like, it this is, is awful. <laughs> why, like, why, why did, did you, you do, do it that? again? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, why so, did any of us do it? Like what happened was I, I ended up working in makeup for like seven years, mm. hated it. And I was like, I, I just want to work in music yeah, now. Like, yeah, and yeah, I'd yeah. kind of gotten, I suppose like I'd built up like such a thick skin being in the beauty industry mm-hmm. um, that I was ready to just try the music yeah, thing. Yeah, finally. if you can handle that, I think you'll <laughs> Yeah, yeah it, like I didn't like, I mean, it's, it just wasn't for me. I know it's like great for some other people, but I, yeah, I found it very difficult being in the, that world and <laughs> and so in terms of that so uh, when you were young were it like you learned instruments and stuff when you were younger but then mm. kind of just left it by the side and 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 found your own path yeah i mean i always played music uh, but like yeah i just didn't take it seriously my parents put me into all sorts of lessons mm-hmm. when i was younger but i always rebelled against them and i was like i don't need a teacher i can teach myself i so, can learn the like, flute on my own i don't, I don't need your it. rock and roll i'll go become a scientist <laughs> that's, or something. That's it. i was just so determined i'll go become a lawyer or a doctor i'm gonna become I'll a doctor i'll show you <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Like, just, uh, I feel really sorry for them because, like, they really did try so hard. Like, at one point, I was learning the harp, clarinet, and drums, like, all at the same time. Like, that's not, very impressive. Like, you know, in an did hour. Did you play them all, all at all the same time? Okay. <laughs> Again, TikTok. TikTok. Mm. That would be If you played cool. all three of those at the same time, the kids would that go, would go wild. viral. Mm. That would be amazing. Like um, those worms. Like went those viral. worms and the, and the spiders. Spiders. But, well, we should just start, like, a new TikTok with, like, 
very niche things like spiders, worms, and playing multiple instruments, instruments yeah. at the same time. I think that's a, I think that's eclectic, <laughs> eclectic enough. It might just work. Start a magazine. <laughs> Start a zine. Oh yeah, that's what everyone's doing yeah, now. No Starting a magazine. <laughs> magazine the digital are back. You heard it here first. <laughs> print media. Oh yeah. If there's anything to put stock into these days, it's print media. Um, so your current music. Like, mm. how would you describe that to people who maybe haven't heard it or are just getting into it? Or what would you, how, what would you call it? Goth pop. Goth pink. What pink goth pink pop? Pink goth pop. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely in the world of pop, mm. indie pop. Um, at the moment, I'm trying to give it a bit more of a punky yeah. edge. Yeah. Great. Um, nice. So yeah, that's where the goth thing kind of yeah. comes in. So like I always want to have like some kind of weird harpsichord in oh, the nice. song or like an organ or like, um, yeah, just something that makes it a little bit different and spooky and just kind of like, yeah, awesome. you know, Danny Elfman like was in the room. Nice. Well, nice. Speaking of spooky, you know. you're doing a Halloween tour, I, I believe. I know. I'm very How, excited. What's that about? How's that going to work? So I love Halloween. Mm-hmm. Like my bedroom is full of well, obviously spiders, but like uh, Halloween hey, decorations. You don't have to spend money on decorations. You've already <laughs> got the spiders. It. But I just thought it was. Yeah, he's really sending like... mixed messages here. You know, <laughs> the spiders like hey. And just, I love oh. that meme where it's like a spider seeing you like destroy its home and then put up fake spider webs for Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that my room is just covered in fake spider web mm. like tablecloths and stuff. So it's nice. kind of ironic. Um, but uh, yeah, the Halloween tour is just something I've always wanted to do. Like last year, I, I joked that I was doing a mini inter-county tour and I mm. did like a gig in Bray. And, and then in Dublin. In Dublin. <laughs> um, I actually did end up going to County Clare and doing one there in a cafe. Uh, so so it's it a world tour, basically. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> world tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I was like, you know, I actually just want to really try and do that this year. Mm-hmm. So I've got seven Wow, that's great. Wow, that's a tour. tour. And in terms of that, mm. like you're set up for that, because obviously, you know, uh, you, you basically self-produce your own music or you work with different producers. Yeah. How does how does that work? Because from, from the perspective of the live show, there's there's a band version of what you do and then there's kind of like a, you know, like an electronic version of what you do. Is that right? Or yeah. how, how would you describe the live shows so, and the production side of things? Uh, the production side of things, so... Um, I will either like self-produce or I co-produce with another yeah. producer. Um, I do like to have a lot of the creative direction control and mm. kind of, you know, be... Get them harpsichords in there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I have a very clear like sound in my head. Um, but uh, yeah, for the live shows, like with the full band, they're rock shows is what mm-hmm, I mm-hmm. tell people, you know, like sometimes we'll cover like, you know, Smells Like Teen Spirit or something mm-hmm. like that. Um but we always use the backing tracks at the same time. So the backing tracks are like, there's a load of unreleased songs in the Great. backing tracks that are nice. kind of mid-production mm-hmm. and stuff. Um, and then for the other shows, like I seldom would do like acoustic, just me and a guitar. Yeah, I'm not really a guitar player. So yeah, yeah. like I try to avoid doing those yeah, where I can, yeah. but sometimes I do. Um, and then the other ones are just me wandering around with the microphone and yeah, the backing amazing. tracks. Just yeah, like nice. cabaret kind of yeah, style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. Know? Well, it's yeah. good to have all those options as well, like, Totally. It means you're not limited in terms of what kind of gigs you can take on. Mm. That's the thing. Yeah. And speaking of gigs you took on, you did the Eep recently. I mm-hmm. did the Eep the for the Eep first time. Electric picnic. <laughs> um, and I saw it. There was loads of great photos came of it, out of it. You were hanging out with all kinds of cool people there. And um, how was that whole experience? I had the best time. I ended up uh, gigging the three nights. Um, mm-hmm. The first night I sang with my sister, Kathy. Um, at the Salty Dog stage the second day I did my own show over mm-hmm. in Jerry Fish's Fish Town so that yeah. was like mm. my baby I, I loved that that was so much fun um, and such a cool place and then on the last day I like sang a set outside Caravan Mambo in the trailer park so that was just me and the backing tracks in a kind of weird nice, quirky nice, setting nice, nice. that sounds songs. great well you made so the most of that that's great that's yeah. awesome um, and yeah, what if, you know, look, it's a, it's a great, um, you would have made a lot of, you know, new fans and connections and, and had that experience. Um, and in terms of, you know, you mentioned it before the, the composing for video games. Yes. Okay. <laughs> how, when, where, why? So how did this mm. all come about for a start? Um, and then what are some of the projects that you're working on? So, uh, when I was a kid, because we lived in the countryside and, I rebelled Your best friend against, was a sheep. Yeah, my best friend was a sheep um, and a cow. But 
Uh, I just rebelled against like learning the musical instruments. Yeah, I played a lot of video games when I was a kid. Oh, excellent. Basically. And that's what I did after school every day. I just played. What games? It. Yeah. We need details. Harry Potter. <laughs> I've heard that. Is that the one on PS1 where Hagrid looks like a fridge? There there is that one, but I actually haven't played that one properly in full. Is this PS2? What era are we? PS2. Yeah. So it was. Ratchet and Clank? Yeah. I. I played that at my friend's houses, but we never had it. We oh, had yeah. Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot, oh, yeah. good. There's nothing wrong with the Bandicoot. Um, nothing and, wrong with the coot. Yeah, the, the coot. And we had uh, The Sims. It was one oh, that yes. I, I loved. Um, but like, Did you drown yeah. them in pools? Oh, I did all sorts it of things. It seems like you'd... The kind of, the thing, kind of thing I would yeah. do, the sort of thing I'd get up to, like every boy who's ever broken my heart, just uh, like make them in the sins. Brad. <laughs> Brad has no clothes. Joan, Brad. It's Steve. <laughs> Steve has no food. I've taken away all the doors out of Calvin's room. He's starving. Um, but it was actually, when I started playing The Sims when I was younger, my mom had to ban me from playing it because I used to have panic attacks when the Grim Reaper came to take away your sins. Mm. Unless, except when they took away Brad. Brad <laughs> it, well, except Brad. I'd be like, Ugh. But, um, <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, there, there was like a year where I couldn't play The Sims and then The Sims 2 came out and they made the Grim Reaper kind of funny. Um, and so I was like, so oh, he has a mobile kid. phone now. And it's not <laughs> as scary. But you know, it was so scary. And one of the things that got me into the whole music for video games thing was that in the first Sims, they had all these like... um music motifs mm. for all the tragedies that happened in the game like you'd hear like the sound that happens when the burglar arrives and yeah stuff. Right. i was like it always just gave me chills like, yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah i just kind of got into it so i want to like scare that. children i'm gonna, <laughs> yeah. make, I'm gonna <laughs> make video game music <laughs> it's like that's the sonic the drowning music <laughs> Yeah, oh, that's yeah, that so terrifying. iconic. Yeah. Or like, do you know, like um, in Crash Bandicoot when he dies and he goes, whoa! Yeah, like, yeah, whoa! yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> I love that so much. That nearly ended up in my song F-Boy, which was my first single. I just The woo it. noise. Yeah, the woo. You just, you like, contacted Crash and he wasn't available, so. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, yeah, he just yeah. wasn't around. <laughs> Sorry, bro. So. Can't do it. Isn't he Australian? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, bro. Can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> we we put we put video game music in uh, or sound effects. We yeah, put something yeah. from we Star did Fox. The, uh, Star Fox at the end of the song. Game over music. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's unreal. Mm, no, it's great. I that's love all so that kind cool. of stuff. And and also chip tune kind of stuff where you 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 take songs and then you reproduce them with like basically Game Boy or yeah. you know early video yeah. game kind of sound effects. So what are you working on so at the cool. moment? So at the moment I'm working for. Big Brother. Heck yeah, the you game. are. Part two. There's a plug. Uh, Part, part two. Yeah. yeah. Part two. <laughs> I know this. <laughs> Big Brother the Game to think two. There. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, it's in partnership with the actual TV show, of Big yeah. Brother, yeah, nice. um, which is coming back to the UK. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yeah, I just do all the music for that. And it's so, how, did, how does it yeah. differ, I guess, from like producing your own music or just producing is it to a brief or like what? Yeah. oh yeah, yeah. How do you it's have to always work with to a brief mm. so like the theme of the house changes like every two months or so mm-hmm. so they'll be like you know we need steampunk this right. season oh, so i spent like a month writing steampunk music mm-hmm. and then the next one was like um uh oh what was one that i can say <laughs> That's the thing. without the big and brothers blind. coming to get you um oh we did we did outback Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, nice. oh no, that sounds... Mad. <laughs> <laughs> what does the Outback sound like? Sounds like didgeridoos uh, and yeah, I was there blending didgeridoos <laughs> yep. into pop music. Nice. Pidgeridoo. <laughs> yeah, it was a bit weird. And then just like sound designing, you know, for the Outback. That's great. Wow. Kind of, That's so. awesome, man. It's cool because it broadens my own horizons, but yeah. stuff that I can put into my own music as an mm. artist as well. Your new didgeridoo track coming <laughs> later this month. <laughs> can you imagine? So... Speaking of your own music, you do have a single that came out a few days ago and we'll play it at the end of the uh, podcast as well for everyone to listen to and enjoy. So tell us a little bit about this track. So this is called R.I.P. Dead To Me, like the number two to Mm -hmm. be all uh, Gen Z and cool. Is dead spelled normally or is it like D-E-D? Like D-E-D. Oh, it should have been D-E-D. That would have been way cooler. (laughs) Take it off. Take it off Spotify. We've got to (laughs) re-upload and redo the artwork. You've got to re-pronounce the word in it (laughs) as well because it's got a very specific uh, inflection. Very specific. It's actually a re-release of a song that I released Halloween two years ago Mm. that was... um, co-produced with my friend Luke and we just wanted to like put something out for Halloween for yeah. the laugh produce mm. it in like three days wrote it like oh, in nice. within that time threw it out 
and we always really liked the song. Yeah, yeah. Mm. It was just like a little bit rushed or something. Was ve- it? Very yeah. rushed, and like the vocals then didn't sound like me now. Like even though it was mm. only two years mm. ago, yeah, yeah. Mm. I only really found my voice in the last year. Yeah, and you didn't have pink hair back then, did no, you? So, no, no, yeah. so and that changes not, the voice like, a lot. Like I was peroxide blonde at the time, you uh, know. Like, you can hear it. Yeah, you can hear it in the you vocals the and that. So like, mm. uh, so this new version has been like, there's a few new kind of lyrics. It's punkier, nice. it's rockier, nice. spookier. Right. So wow. we can't yeah. wait to have a listen to it at the end of the show. <laughs> um, and speaking of which, <laughs> speaking we're coming of up to the end, end of the show. show. <laughs> um, but listen, uh, Elsha, just before we get going, and and obviously, you know, thanks so much for coming on the show. Thanks um, for absolute having pleasure. Me. Yeah, no, totally. Um, so much cool stuff coming out from you on the recording side, on the live side. Um, and on the video game side, which is also very, very cool. Um, just tell everyone what's the easiest way to find your music and how to how to connect with you. So I always say that my name is a pain to pronounce. It's also a pain to spell. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's A-I-L-S-H-A music on everything. We'll put it on the screen so people know. Yeah, people yeah. can find it. Copy and paste. Yeah, sure. Excellent, <laughs> excellent. Well, listen, Elsha, thank you so much. Absolute Thanks, pleasure. Guys. pleasure. And best this of luck with great. the music. Thank you so much. No worries. Bye. You might as well be in your grave Since the day you left without a trace I'm not surprised you weren't brave enough To end things with me face to face I talk about you like it's your eulogy Remembering how things used to be But now it's all Now it's all a mystery Was it something?